Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Madhvi from tarotically-speaking.com and today I'm going to do a very interesting video. I know I say that for all my videos but I personally think today's video is really really interesting. It has to do with the topic of focus which is the theme of the month of April for, for me. I know um, there's a, I, I've, I've you know, the I think last month when I did my theme and intention video, I did talk a little bit about it. Uh, I'm going to link up that video up here somewhere so you can click on that and go see that video if that's what you want. But today I'm going to do a very interesting spread where I ask the cards, uh, you know, a, a, a general guidance, not a very specific to me kind of guidance. For this spread, I'm going to ask a very general guidance. Uh, around the topic of focus, I have a bit of a how do you say it a, a mind map ish <laughs> thing that I've I've I have here on my notepad uh, surrounding the topic of focus. Right, uh, I basically want to ask the cards what focus is all about uh, and the things that can help focus uh, or create focus include goals, directions, deadlines, support. Right, and the things that can create hurdles are procrastination, distraction, avoidance, a sense of you no, know, not yet, this is not the right time. And then ultimately, we are going to ask for guidance and direction to create optimal focus conditions, uh, you know, the environment and for the person. So, this is a very general sort of guidance. This is like you know, big picture what is focus kind of you're asking the cards for guidance. Uh, that kind of a thing. So this is not personal to me. It's just a very big picture, very general sort of guidance that I'll be asking uh, the cards. So if you think this kind of spread is pretty interesting, stick around. I'm just going to go shuffle my cards, be right back, and we'll pull cards for this. Okay. Now, since uh, this particular spread requires a lot of, you know, it has a lot of spread positions and stuff, I figured... Uh, we need a you know a lot more to you know to to be a little bit more conservative with the space. Uh, you know the camera can only cover so much space, and although this I have a nice brick spread cloth here, but sorry, but uh, the camera and the stand sadly go only so far. So uh, I'm using my cute little pocket tarot deck, the universal weight pocket version. So the cards are a little bit smaller. But they definitely then, you know, fit better on the cloth, spread cloth. All right. So, again, as usual, I've, I've, you know, I've mixed it up and I'm just shuffling the cards. And, okay. And now I'm going to just uh, sort of focus for a bit. Ask the cards to guide me and tell me all about focus. So I'm just going to leave the fan there because, you know, we're going to freeform, pull the cards out. First and foremost, what is focus? <laughs> oh, God, my cards have a sense of humor. Focus, they say, is the Eight of Swords. And it's pretty interesting because Eight of Swords, the, the biggest keyword that I have for Eight of Swords is self-imposed limitation. It's like, if you see the picture, she has her, her uh, you know, she has her eyes blindfolded and her hands tied. And she's surrounded by all these swords, which basically prevent her from moving. And so she is kind of stuck in one place. Normally, this card has a pretty negative connotation in a reading because it is a, it, it means that you know you you it's like you tell yourself that you can't move out of this stuck position that you're in. But basically, that is what focus is according to my cards. It is where you tell yourself that you are now here and you are supposed to do only this. It is a self-imposed limitation. All right. All right, my cards have a sense of humor, you have to admit. So let's talk about what will... Uh, okay, before the health thing, let me talk about the hurdles, because let's get that out of the way. 
So what are the biggest hurdles here? I made a little bit of a list. Uh, so according to my cards, I'm going to ask my cards. So what is procrastination? The sun card reverse. Procrastination is the sun card reverse. So you see, the sun is all about someone who likes to explore, someone who likes to have an adventure. He is childlike exuberance at his best. Reverse, he's just maybe going all over the place. Procrastination, according to my cards, is you misusing your childlike curiosity and exuberance and possibly going in the wrong direction with it. <laughs> so then what is distraction? Let's see. Strength card reverse. See how the cards show up, right? Strength is all about controlling your passions but in a gentle way it's not a physical show of strength it's it's an emotional or a mental uh, sort of show of strength there it is the power of will and by you know distraction here is in the reverse obviously you're allowing your passions to get the better of you and your willpower well it's left powerless and that's what your distractions are all about Oh boy. Another thing I've noticed uh, that can create a hurdle in focus is avoidance. It's like you say, nah, you know, uh, you know, you, you, you basically just avoid something and you end up doing something else. So like if you're, if you are supposed to work on one project, but you know, it's something about it is it, 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 it creates, gives you the, you know, the jitters or the fears or whatever has to show up. You say, okay, Maybe I need to work on other, another project. So what is this avoidance? What is this avoidance when people do it, when everybody does it? What, what is it that all about? Ah, two of wands reversed. It's interesting how the reverse cards show up, right? Two of wands is all about wanting to explore, right? He right here right now has a certain situation. Look at his clothes. He's doing well for himself. And then this becomes a door when he's like, let me explore with a globe in his hand, he's looking at the ocean. And he's like, let me explore. Let me see what lies out there. Let me take my life, my business, my work, my everything to the next level. And avoidance is you somewhere secretly wanting that, but not actually getting there, not actually uh, making it happen. It's where you prevent yourself from you know, going to the next level. That is avoidance. And then, of course, you have the sense of not yet. You know, it's not perfect yet. It's not great yet. It's not good yet. It's not worth it yet. I, I know I'm not ready to press publish yet. Maybe I need to do some more work on this. Maybe I need to ed give it one more round of edits. That sense of not yet happens all the time for me. And I want to know, in general, when it happens to everybody, all of us, what is that all about? Ah. The King of Cups, not yet, is all about King of Cups, right? The King of Cups, he likes to sort of, you know, it's it's an emotional thing. On, on a different level, the King of Cups is all about trying to find your footing in this vast ocean of emotions. And he's just basically afraid maybe of rejection, of, of all the emotional overwhelm that happens when your stuff is out there, when you press publish, right? So... The sense of not yet is just your emotions doing the talking, taking over for you. Wow. So now that I have that, now that I've got the hurdles kind of defined, you know, roughly or whatever, I'm just going to move the cards up here. These are the hurdles. Or maybe we should, the hurdles should be around down below. That's where they are. Let them be where they are. Hmm. Just moving things around so we are all in the frame <laughs> of the camera. Okay. All right. So what are the things that can help create focus or, or rather help uh, the whole thing of focus? And here I have goals, direction, deadline, and support. So let's begin. What are goals? I'm, I'm, I'm asking the cards to help me define what goals are all about. 
Okay, and we get Knight of Swords reversed. All right, so goals. Knight of Swords, if you see upright, this card is this guy is a problem solver. He rushes right in to you know to take care of whatever that needs to be taken care of. He 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 is someone who who really just go into the middle of the chaos. Reverse though, this card says no, you know, don't rush right in into the middle of the chaos. Just just kind of have take a slow and steady approach. Maybe you just if because if you rush right into something. And you're asking for trouble, you, you know, he'll fall off the horse. So when you define your goals, you're making sure that you don't rush right in, right in the middle of whatever chaotic, crazy situation is out there. But you're planning things out step by step, and you're not, you know, you're setting yourself up to be successful and not to be a failure. That's kind of what I is the feeling I'm getting with the. Knight of Swords here in the reverse. So direction or a sense of direction. What What's that all about? Ah, Ten of Wands, the burden card, right? The sense of direction, because if you see, it's very interesting how uh, the, 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 this guy's face is uh, right in, you know, it's, it's right in the middle of these wands. He, he actually can't see where he's headed. So a sense of direction actually is all about you trying to figure out where you know your burdens from your passions because these are all wands wands are all about fire and passions but then as he takes on more and more they become burdensome for him so your passions slowly start to become burdens for you so a sense so that's where you lose your direction so in in order for you to retain that sense of direction you need to make a clear distinction between your burdens and your passions and not Take on too many things at once. That's what the cards are all. That's what this ten of wands is telling you. That you know, don't take too many things. Don't turn your passions into a burden, and your sense of direction will still remain intact for you. So then, what are deadlines? <laughs> King of Swords reversed. The King of Swords is someone who is harsh. Someone who is strict. And someone who will not tolerate bullshit of any kind, and especially intellectual and logically, he he's someone you cannot defeat. Reverse, he becomes a little bit more oppressive, a little bit more hard to sort of deal with or tangle with. And that's what deadlines are. They are oppressive, they are hard to deal with, and they are basically dead lines. <laughs> that's you know, it's it's like thus far and no further, you shall not pass. That's what deadlines are about. They are oppressive. And that's what deadlines are all about. And so the last part being support. So what you know, you, you can get support in your situation where you want focus in your life. You can get support from friends, family. Uh, I'm sure there are a bunch of apps out there. I'm not going to dwell on that. But there's a whole lot of ways and means in which you can create a you know support. So what is support, uh, in, you know, as a help for creating focus in your life? What is support all about? And, ah, the emperor reversed, right? The emperor is all about having the determination and the willpower to keep at it, to keep at it, to keep at it. He's all about the long uh, term sort of picture. He's not about the short term. He's about the long term. Even if it takes 15 years or 20 years for him to ac accomplish his goal, this guy's going to go do it. Reverse though, this card, this card is not about discipline. This card is not about uh, having focus, to be honest. And support, according to the cards here, is the Empress, Emperor Reverse. Basically, the cards are saying support is something temporary. It's a quick fix situation it is not a long-term thing so basically if you rely on uh support of any kind be it apps or this or that <clears throat> ultimately you'll become dependent on them it's just a quick fix and then you'll have to keep changing that and this is something i have experienced personally you know one day you know something works for some time but then it it eventually loses or you know it's it's kind of 
potential or its its focus or its energy and then you got to you, sc you scramble about looking for something else for instance for a long period of time i used to have uh you know this this uh, uh thing about the uh, white noise <laughs> i used to have that up on my computer uh playing white noise and i would do my work soon of course that became boring for me and then i started looking for something else and when the second thing then there was a third thing so it's just you know endless you it's, it's something that that will help create that whole procrastination distraction sort of thing going on that feeds into this is what i think now all of this is fine this is this is a great spread to be honest <laughs> now let's talk about asking the cards for guidance and direction this part right for creating optimal focus conditions both in the environment and the person so i'm just again going to move the cards a little bit so that they are still in the frame and we still have space sorry about this all right so i'm just going to put cards here now Guidance and direction for optimal focus in how to create optimal focus conditions in your environment and how to create, uh, you know, in, for you personally. Uh, this is just for everybody. All right. So in your environment, if you want to create optimal conditions for focus, <laughs> it is five of wands. <laughs> My goodness. This, I know it, it looks pretty contrary, so I'm going to really go into the card story here with this, right? Because Five of Wands traditionally is the card of chaos. It is the card of, you know, everybody wants to do a different thing here. Everybody has a different wand and everybody's wands is in a different direction. And everybody's like, no, my way is better. My way is better. And there is a general chaos. And well that is a condition that is not necessarily going to help you find focus or is it so this is something to think about and and as i'm looking at the card image i'm like okay maybe the cards are saying that if you want to create optimal focus conditions you need to find your ideal direction or your you know the your what 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 your direction is amidst all this crazy chaos that is surrounding you you need to look for what your ideal path is going forward. So that is the environment. And for a person, we have the Queen of Cups. How interesting. Again, basically, Queen of Cups is someone who is in touch with her feelings, her emotions. But this, with the cup closed, she doesn't allow them to go all over the place. It's in control, right? Her creativity, she sits right there at the edge of the water, which, which is also, which, you know, water symbolizes emotions. Water is about the subconscious. Water is also about intuition, creativity. Water is pretty much everything that flows. And so she sits right there. She is water of water after all. And she's like, you know what? I got this. So. <laughs> The Queen of Cups is ideally what you should aspire to be in order to create uh, conditions for optimal focus in your life, uh, you know, at a personal uh, level. And in the environment, you know, you should create a sense where you know, there are different options available. And out of all those options, which option is it that works well for you? Pick that, choose that and go with it. Or alternatively, another thing that came to me is you can choose an environment which is crazy chaotic and then sit there. You know, like how some people find focus right in the middle of a busy coffee shop, that kind of a thing, right? There's people are going and coming all around you, but then there you are with your computer and you're just fine. So maybe that's what that's something that'll work for you. So to sum it all up, what is focus? Focus is a self-imposed limitation. Limitation, sorry. It's a space where you tell yourself, this is it. That is all I'm going to do right now. And you sort of stick with it. The hurdles of <laughs> in this process of focus are procrastination, 
distraction, avoidance, and the sense of not yet. Whereas the cards, which which basically the cards are saying, you know, procrastination is you trying, you know, to do other things, you know, getting distracted really, or rather you trying this, trying that, trying this, trying that, using your curiosity in an unproductive way. Distraction is you allowing your passions to get the best of you and not allowing your willpower to really control uh, your situation. Avoidance is you not allowing yourself to go to the next level. That is you kind of preventing yourself from going to the next level or taking your life or business or work to the next level. And the sense of not yet is where your emotions overwhelm you and you're like, mm, I'm just, just trying to find that stable space. But you'll never find it. Emotions are always like waves going all over the place, right? There'll never be any sort of stability there. <laughs> and okay, so and what will help uh, this help you find focus? We have goals, a sense of direction, the deadline and support, which again, the cards say, when you are having goals, you will make sure that you don't half as hardly run right into the middle of a chaotic situation. You know what you're getting into and you will avoid uh, sort of getting in trouble that way. In terms of, of a sense of direction, the cards are saying, make sure that you don't uh, turn your passion into a burden because that is the easiest way of losing your sense of direction. Your deadline is something <laughs> the king, with the King of Swords reverse. It's something harsh and terrible. So just, just follow it. <laughs> and support is something that is temporary. It is a distraction at best. And it is a doorway into procrastination and distraction right here. Uh, it is something that is, uh, you know, that will help you in the short term, but it is not a long term uh, sort of strategy that you can uh, have in place. And and finally, to come you know talking about the guidance part. Let's let's do it this way. So that's a little different here. In terms of guidance, the cards say, in order for you to create uh, optimal focus in your environment, you need to make sure you know what your uh, what where you want to go amidst all the chaos around you, or you could go sit in an environment which has you know chaos like like a coffee shop or something around you. And that's actually optimal <laughs> for you to create focus. And as a person, for you to create focus is to be in touch with your emotions, but don't let it get out of hand. Be in touch with your creativity, with your intuition, with, with the feminine water aspects of your nature. Just be in touch with them and your focus will just kind of flow right in. Eight of Swords, self-imposed limitation. What an interesting uh, definition for focus. <laughs> so that's kind of my spread for this uh, video. Uh, asking the cards for guidance about focus. Asking the cards rather, what is focus? And <laughs> I think my cards with their wacky sense of humor have sort of pointed us all in, the, in, in a certain direction. Um, I would like to hear your opinion, though. What do you think of this spread? What do you think of my interpretations? If you have any other interpretations to offer, feel free to, uh, you know, write them in the comment section below. If you like this video, just hit the like button, you know, and, you know, the th big thumbs up right below the video and uh, so that I know <laughs> that you liked it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, just go right ahead and subscribe. Um, uh, also, I do send out a newsletter once a month. Oh, yeah, pretty much once a month. So if you want to subscribe to that and, you know, you can totally find the link in the description of this video. I also have my Instagram where I post my card a day readings. So you can totally uh, follow me there or, or if you prefer Facebook or if you like Twitter. I'm on all these places. My card a day thing happens everywhere. So you can, you know, pick the social media platform of your choice and follow me there for my card a day readings. If you want to book a reading for yourself, well, the link is there in the description. You can totally go there and book a reading for yourself. I can do a spread like this just 
for you or if you have any other questions about your life your work spiritual stuff pretty much anything and everything that you can throw at the cards don't worry the cards are there for you so if you want to book a reading totally do that all right so that's pretty much what i had to say for in this video so i will see you again in my next video until then stay good be good play with your cards <laughs> bye for now